Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be sewing up the Sarah Wide Sleeve Sweater. Um, this is such a cute sweater pattern. I love it. It's a little bit oversized. It's got a beautiful wide sleeve with different hem options. It's got a cuff option. Um, it's got all different kinds of necklines. It's got a mock turtle. It's got a turtleneck. It's got a cowl neck. It's got a crew neck. You name it. Um, and it's got different um, hem uh, options to the waistband. It's got a waistband. It's got a regular hem. It's got a cropped length. It's just full of options. I love it. And one of the greatest thing about it is that it's such a quick sew. You're going to want to make this over and over and over again. So go grab your pattern and come back and sew it up with me. All right, we're going to get started. And the really neat thing about this pattern that is so quick and easy for basically every option. So we've got sleeves. I'm going to do the mock neck, mock turtleneck, but you, the turtleneck and the mock neck and really the neckband, they're all kind of done the same way. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to do the cuffs, um, but I'm going to tell you how you do the elastic if that's the option you're doing. And then the bodice is the same. The only thing different is that I'm not doing the um, band at the bottom, but if you're doing the band at the bottom, you would do it the same way that we're going to put the neckband on, the, the neckband on or the cuff but just at the bottom of the top. So we're gonna start by grabbing our front and our back pieces, and we're gonna place them, whoop, stay over there. And we're gonna place them right sides together. As we place them right sides together, we're gonna attach that shoulder seam right sides together. All right, so I've got my shoulders right sides together, and now I'm also going to grab my sides and meet them right sides together. To sew this up, I'm going to be using my serger with a, because it's a knit, um, a stretch fabric, we need to use a stretch stitch. So I'm gonna be using my serger, but if you do not have a serger, you can still work on this pattern and you would just need to use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. I love using a zigzag stitch. Honestly, it's one of my favorites to do if I'm gonna use the sewing machine, a zigzag stitch. Or I also like to do the triple stitch. Um, that uh, is also another great stretch stitch. But whatever is your preferred method for uh, sewing with knits. All right, so I can go ahead and sew that up, but I'm also going to prep my sleeves, my cuffs, and my neckband. The reason why I like to go ahead and prep them is because that way they're ready for when it's time for me to attach it all together and um, it just saves some time for me, I feel like. All right, I'm gonna grab my neck, my, uh, sorry, my, my sleeve. Now, as you can see, I have two little bumpies here that mark the back of my sleeve. I like to mark that when I'm cutting it out so I know exactly where the back is and I don't get confused after I sew it up. Uh, but you need to mark that however you want to mark it um, so that it's correctly when you go to attach it. Then we're gonna fold the sleeve right sides together along the outer edge. Well, it's actually the inner seam. It's gonna be what that ends up being. And we're going to sew them right sides together. And we're gonna do that for both sleeves. All right, so now our bodice is prepped, our sleeves will be prepped, and we can prep our cuff and our neckbands. So our cuff and our neckbands will be prepped the exact same way. We're going to fold them right sides together along this long edge for my cuff is going to be the long edge so here's my fold is one side so here's my fold and this is the side we're going to we're going to go ahead and sew right sides together now for my neckband i like i said i'm doing the mock turtle um so what i'm doing here is i cut one on the fold i'm going to fold it right sides together and along this raw edge here on the side i'm going to go ahead and sew that up now, right sides together. Now, if you're doing a neckband, you are going to be doing the same thing. It's just gonna be a smaller strip. If you're doing the cowl, <clears throat> you're gonna have a, a longer piece that you'll have the two sides, but they're also going to be folded right sides together and sewn so that you can create a um, neckband like this, like a circle neckband. So let me go sew all this up and then we'll put it all together. All 
Alrighty, so my bodice is completed and my sleeves. So let's start with those. I'm gonna grab my sleeve and turn it right side out. And I'm gonna find the one that has the mark for the back. And that is going to be facing the back of my uh, bodice. As you can see, the front is lower than the back. And I'm going to stick my um, sleeve right into the arm side. And we're going to match up this inner seam right here of the sleeve with this inner seam right here of the bodice. And we're gonna match it up right sides together. And then as you can see, this is the back of the bodice. This is the back mark of the sleeve. And we're just gonna match up the right sides of the whole sleeve going all the way around that um, arm side. So it should fit right in. And we're gonna do that for both sleeves. This pattern is perfect for a beginner pattern. If you're just starting with sewing and you're interested in learning more about it, this pattern is so great because it's so easy. And um, being a knit, it's so easy to get just right. And it's so forgiving too, I love it. All right, next step, I'm gonna do my neckband. I'm gonna grab my neckband here and I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together to create um, the neckband area. Now, like I said, if you have a neckband, um, you're going to be doing the same thing. It's just gonna be a little bit um, smaller, thinner. So we're gonna start from the one angle to the front, cause that's gonna be my back where my seam is. And I'm gonna mark it. And I like to mark it with like a little trim here. And it's not too big, it's just a little tiny clip that will get eaten by my seam allowance, but it just helps in case my pin falls or anything. It's just to remind me where my half is. Then I'm gonna match those two sides, the front and the back, and I'm gonna go to the sides. And those are my quarters. Now, if you're doing a waistband, you can do that too. You can um, do that with the waistband where you um, quarter it like that and then it's easier to attach. Now for a neckband, you do have to quarter your neck as well. So we're gonna grab our shoulder seams, right sides together, and we're gonna go to the back and mark it. And then shoulder seams again, and we're gonna go to the front and mark it. Then I'm gonna match up the front and the back, and I'm gonna go to the sides. Because the uh, front is lower than the back, you wanna make sure that you quarter because it's not going to be right at the shoulder seam. Like for mine, it's just like a half an inch away from the shoulder, but some may be more than others. And if you don't mark it, then you're gonna end up with a neckband that is too tight around the front and loose around the back, and you do not want that. Now I'm finding my back seam and I'm placing that on the back spot that I marked. And I'm matching up all those other quarters just as well. As I sew this on, I'm going to be stretching my neck band to fit my neck area just a little bit. You want that to fit so it's gonna bring in, bring that neck in a little bit. Now, for my cuffs, as you can see, if you are hemming, you would just be hemming the sleeve now and hemming the end, the bottom, and you'd be done. But I'm doing a cuff. So as you can see, when I fold my cuff wrong sides together, just like I did my neckband, which is the next step, my cuff is a lot smaller than my sleeve because we have this wide sleeve. So what we have to do is put in a gathering stitch here to bring this in like so, so that I can fit it into my neck, my arm, my, <laughs> my uh what is this called my sleeve band my sleeve cuff i can't think of the word so i'm gonna go to my sewing machine and put in a gathering stitch whatever kind of gathering stitch you want to use i'm just going to use a long basing stitch and gather this here but i am going to mark the half that way i know exactly where my halves are for when i go to attach it it just makes it easier for me i'm going to do that on both now for the bottom of my sweater i'm just going to hem um, so I'll do that when we come back. I just I'm just gonna do a half, I um, mean, you know, an inch hem on that. Um, but if you want to attach the a waistband, then you would do it just the same way that we attach the other band. Let's sew all that up, and we're almost done. 
All right, let's start with our neckband so I can show you that. I'm gonna start, I like my neckband to be face up on my serger. This is my uh, seam right here at the back, so we're starting with the back, and I like to be able to, like I said, see my neckband. Then I'm going to grab and make sure that they're both, the neckband, the two fabric, the two sides of my neckband and the fabric of the back of my top are all lined up together. And I'm gonna stretch lightly and then sew. And get to that first quarter point, remove, and then do the same for the other quarter point. So stretch lightly, make sure that they're all matching so you're not gonna miss have any gaps or anything and I'm going to continue doing that all the way around the whole neckband oh. taking my serger apart this serger is a uh, uh, brother 1034d it's an entry-level machine is super friendly I know I need to put like a mat underneath it so it doesn't go flying. I just keep forgetting to get one. So I really need to because it just wiggles all over my table. All right, so for my gathering stitch, I put my stitch at a five length, which is my longest length on my stitch. And then I just go ahead and go all the way around, leaving a tail to gather with. You can go about a quarter inch from the edge or half an inch, but a quarter inch is probably the best. All right, so here's my cuff. And I'm gonna mark the half of my cuff as well. Okay, and now I'm going to pull that basting stitch and gather my cuff enough that it's gonna, I mean, gather my sleeve enough that it's gonna fit into my cuff even out those gathers so it's all nice and even and that it's gonna fit all right once you got it all gathered nicely we're gonna go ahead and grab that cuff and fit it right into the sleeve and then we're gonna match that seam right here outer seam And then that other side where I made the mark. So you're gonna match up all those raw edges here at the cuff. I'm gonna do that for both. All right, now at the bottom, I'm just going to hem at an inch on here. So I'm just folding up an inch. Um, I am going to be using my cover stitch to hem this up. So it's just gonna be a stitch on my cover stitch. And my cover stitch actually has black thread. I think I'm gonna go with the black thread that's on there right now. I hope I don't regret it. I don't think I will, but you know. I mean, it's got black on it. And I also don't usually, Sometimes I steam, but if my iron is not ready, then I don't. But I will say that for knits, it is very important that you steam your seams. So if you have seams that are wavy um, or the neckband looks a little wavy to you because certain knits get more wavy than others, you can go ahead and use your iron and give it a really good steam and that will bring the fibers, the, the fabrics back in because it gets a little bit stretched out as you're sewing it and it will help with that waviness. So when you're done with your sew, make sure that you give it a really good steam all the way around, at the neckline, at the um, sleeves, everywhere, and that will make it look so much better. So let's go sew that on, hem, and we'll be done. So quick and simple. All right, friends, we are done. I love this mock neck, the sleeves with the cuffs. It gives you just enough flair here at the white sleeve, but I love it without the cuffs as well, where it's just like a big white sleeve. Um, I love how this fits, the oversized of it. It's not super oversized, but it's got just enough. I think it looks 
adorable what do you think now now that you saw how easy this was, how many are you going to make and what option are you going to go with first? I think next I'm going to make hmm, the turtleneck or maybe the crew neck. Maybe I'll make the crew neck or maybe I'll make the cowl because that's kind of cute too. But I do want to do the um, elastic sleeves because I love the blousiness of just a little elastic here. I don't know. So many options. I hope you love this tutorial. Let me know below what you think. Go grab the pattern. The link is below. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.